Hey guys, um, we've moved on to the Grade 2 Group B section in the new Trinity Drum Kit Syllabus uh, 2020 to 2023. Um, group B means that it's got no backing track. Uh, this is a 12-8 piece. Um, it's a funk style and it's by Chris Borges. Uh, Chris has done a lot of pieces and he hasn't let himself down on this one. This is a good piece. Um, challenging enough uh, in the count is, is really important that you keep this count solid. Um, and even though it's 80 BPM, because it's 12.8, it flows quite fast. So practice it nice and slow. Um, there's a lot of dynamics in this as well that you want to pay attention to. So um, the, the opening bar is just between the floor tom and the snare. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it gradually gets louder. Uh, and then turns into a groove. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, now that was bar 5 I just finished on, the two the two bass drums on 6, 7 are a little tricky just because I'm switching from groove into fill between them, so it goes 6, 7, so take your time with that, use 5 on its own as, a, as an exercise just to work on 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, even if you stop on the 6, 7 just to get used to it. 10, 11, 12. Because once you get to the snare, continuing to fill is, is much easier. Okay, moving on to bar 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. So that's a surprise bass drum on the 11 instead of on the 12. 10, 11, 12. Okay, continuing 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Okay, so I went on to the 1 of the next just because I wanted to close the highest, but an open hi hat happens on the 12, and it closes again on the 1 of the next bar, so you've got to be prepared for that. So 7 and 8 will play together a certain amount, but 8 is tricky because it starts with a fill, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, These two are worth sitting on for a little while. Go back to seven and try that again. Get comfortable with that and it's actually a nice little fill to stick in at the start of a bar. And then we have an actual fill. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's four hits on each drum, but counting in twelve eight times is a little bit weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, happy with that. Moving on uh, into the P section. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tied into seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so it goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 10 and 11 are kind of solo parts or fill parts, but they're important that you get them nice and level. 10, 11, 12. One other thing to note there is it, it indicates which hands you're to use. So make sure you don't get those mixed up. Right, left, right, left, right, left. It's indicated that means you have to follow it, okay? And then we have a, a nice quiet fill down the, the drums. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they're dotted crotchets, meaning it's all of 1, 2, 3. Another set of dotted crotchets, all of 1, 2, 3. A quaver and a crotchet. Uh, 4, 5, 6, so 7, 8, 9. And then a flam, 10, 11, 12. So of course, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then a backward fill, I suppose, starting from the floor top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, final row now, we're on to 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 
That, what I just did, is a buzz roll. So you're supposed to get your doubles going as tight as you can and as low as you can and get it to buzz. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, continue on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we got double line and double dot at the end of 17. That means we're going to be repeating back to bar 10 and starting back at the start of uh, the B section. Now that we're ending our repeat, we don't do the first 17, we do the second 17, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the rest is on 1, we play the floor tom and rack tom on 2, bass drum on 3, and flam for 4, 5, 6. Four, five, six. Then we've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Move that left hand up to the crash for the, for the final hit, um, and let it ring out over the end. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that's the whole piece. Um, it's one to take slow, and again with the counting, uh, very, very important to count that out so that you're making sure you're in time. Um, and it's a fun one to play. Once you get it down, you'll you'll uh, you'll have all these new uh, skills and abilities in your arsenal. Um, I hope the video was helpful, guys. Uh, if there's any particular pieces you want me to cover that I haven't covered yet, do let me know, and I'll get working on them. Um, if uh, you want to check the playlist that this this video is attached to. Uh, it should have all the previous pieces um, from all of grade 2, all of grade 1 and all the initial grade done in it already. Um, thanks for watching and uh, I'm off now to record uh, a timed uh, performance of it with the metronome. So look for that video as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.